Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. And I'm doing this preemptively, so this is a previously recorded video. But um, I wanted to do Tuesdays with a T now since I saw this new product at my visiting now Cracker Barrel because um, I'm, at, I'm out of town. So, you know, we actually, I thought I was going to be able to come back home tonight and, um, you know, just whatever, resume my schedule. But, no, uh, something else happened, so we ended up staying an extra night. And we got some dinner at Cracker Barrel. And I noticed that they do a spring berry tea, y'all. So, never heard of it. First time trying it. Uh, I got the to-go. So, this is pretty much how it was. Like, they didn't fill it up all the way, which was BS in my opinion. But... And also, it's 11.30 at night, y'all. Um, kind of fell asleep while I was uploading the... Whatchamacallit video. My weekend special that I promised you. It'll be up by the time this one's uploaded. But, unfortunately, you know, the internet at the hotel is pretty crap. And we're staying at Motel 6, y'all. And I just got the free Wi-Fi and get the $5 Wi-Fi. So, you get what you pay for. And, you know, enough about that. I'm just kind of peeved that I promised y'all today. Or, excuse me, Saturday, I promised y'all a video. But it's going to end up appearing Sunday you know, Sunday my time. But enough on that, y'all. Here we have the uh, Springberry. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name, y'all. But Springberry um, iced tea. So let's give this a sip, shall we? I don't have nutritional facts in front of me, so we're just going to have to go in blind. Okay, it's moderately sweet, but I mean, it still got some sweetness. Uh, unfortunately, I did let this, I like, I let the ice melt a little bit, but the straw is at the bottom, so it shouldn't have affected down below. But it's moderately sweet. I wouldn't say it's like extra sweet like a traditional sweet tea. There's a mixed berry taste to it. I want to say I taste blueberries, raspberries of course. But I may taste a hint of cranberry because there is a tartness to this. A signature tartness that you know, I get that initially when I first take my sip. That's like the first sensation that hits, hits me is that it's this drink is a little bit tart. But then you have the blueberries, raspberries surrounded out. So I'm curious as to like looking at a advertisement and seeing, you know, what berries they advertise. Yeah, I don't even know if it's spring berry. Like, <laughs> I think that's what I... Because I ordered our meals over the phone, so that's what I remember saying. So, yeah, yeah, I mean... Mm. Since it's to go, I mean, they only had this size, I believe. 
And, um... And this was $3, y'all. $3 for this drink. And... It's tasting like something I can brew myself. Um... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get the verdict in because ain't nothing special. It's late at night and I'm sitting out here in this um, motel parking lot. All right, y'all. So in the case of Cracker Barrel Springberry Tea, out of my rating system of good, okay, bad, I would rate this an okay definitely not worth three dollars y'all like talk about bait and switch and i'm you know i'm trying to swirl it and see if i'm missing any flavors but yeah i mean eh. It's okay, y'all. I mean, I, what I'm assuming is just like a mixed berry herbal tea that's like kind of sweet. And you could probably make one better from, a, you know, one of the established tea companies, maybe even Lipton. This kind of tastes on par with Lipton's um, mixed berry K-cup iced tea blend or um yeah, I think that's what it's called but yeah it's like nothing spectacular I mean where I'm living now I don't have a cracker barrel in within immediate vicinity but when I was in pharmacy school there's like a plethora of restaurants like down the street and then there was a Walmart like down the street too <sighs> which is why I miss this place. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where I'm staying, y'all. It's like, um, where I, like, right in this neighborhood where I used to go to pharmacy school. Um, yeah. It sucks, but, I mean, hey, if it wasn't meant to be, you know, there's always bigger and better things. But, um, yeah, like, I really do miss the convenience of this place because, like, everything was within, like, two to three traffic lights, you know. And then, like, I-75 is, like, um, less than ten minutes away either. So, you know, I mean, yeah, this place was nice in terms of convenience, but I didn't want to live here long term. Because, yeah, folks, there's always bigger and better things. And sorry for that tangent, but I just wanted to say that. But, yeah, like, I really do miss this place. And, well, I don't miss it, miss it, but, like, I, this is, like, one of the fond memories I have of this place. Um, just, like, everything being so close by and you know just doing what I gotta do to go to and from destination my destination I should say so yeah I'm uh, sorry about that but yeah now where I live it's like it feels like aeons to get to wherever I want to go because there is no you know, Cracker Barrel from a long shot of where I am. But, I mean, it's not where I'm like, darn, you know. No, this Springberry Tea is, it's on par. I would probably even say subpar because I'm feeling kind of grouchy. But, yeah, y'all, um... That's going to do it for this episode of Tuesdays with a T, the spooky edition, because I'm in bad lighting. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, 
Y'all know what the deal is. Don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Y'all know any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. And yeah, folks, I'll see you tomorrow for Wellness Wednesday. Uh, that's going to be fun because I don't know what the heck I want to do on Wellness Wednesday. Except what I should do is exercise. But we will figure it out, folks. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so take care. Make it a great day today and every day. And until the next video. Bye now. Ooh.